So we are in our next stanza, starting at line 20. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands. He has recompensed me, for I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not wickedly departed from my God. For all his judgments were before me, and I did not put away his statutes from me. I was also blameless before him, and I kept myself with, from my iniquity. I was also blameless before him, and I kept myself from my iniquity. Therefore, the Lord has recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands in his sight. Now, this one is uh, interesting right here because uh, David is getting ready to tell us about how, uh, about why the Lord is rewarding him and why he should receive um, rewards from the, from the Lord based upon his own righteousness. All right. So he's making his plea before God. And so now it, uh, in line 20, it says, the Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands, he has recompensed me. All right. And so it sends us to, um, Psalm, I'm sorry, first Samuel 24, 19. First Samuel 24, 19, and let's turn there. Okay. And it says 24, 19. <clears throat> now, this is the first time that David had an opportunity to take Saul's life. Now, read it. Okay, let's read it. It says, uh, for if a man finds his... Well, let, let's go up to 17. It says, Then he said to David, You are more righteous than I, for you have rewarded me with good, whereas I have rewarded you with evil. Mm. And you have shown this day how you have dealt with well with me, for when the Lord delivered me into your hand, you did not kill me. And so this is all talking to David. 19. For if a man finds his enemy... Will he let him get away safely? Therefore, may the Lord reward you with good for what you have done to me this day. And now I know indeed that you shall surely be king and that the kingdom of Israel shall be established in your hand. Therefore, swear now by me, swear now to me by the Lord that you will not cut off my descendants after me and that you will not destroy my name from my father's house. So David swore to Saul, and Saul went home. But David and his men went up to the stronghold. All right. And then so 23, uh, so 1 Samuel 23, 29 tells us what that stronghold is. And it says, uh, then David went up from there and dwelt in the strongholds in at in. Jedi or in Gedi. All right. And so, and that's the first time David pleaded his case uh, with God about how the Lord rewarded uh, him according to his righteousness, according to the cleanness of his hands, because he could have struck Saul. He could have struck him down, but he didn't. All right. Then it says right here, for I have kept the ways of the Lord in line 21. We back in sorry, back in Psalm 18, line 21. For I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not done wickedly. For I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not wickedly departed from my God. So he's saying that he has kept God's uh, ways and he hasn't departed from them wickedly. Because sometimes when we think that uh, we're going, you know, right. And something calls us to what drift off and go somewhere else, wanting us to do what um, repay evil for evil, and that's not at all what God has for us. All right. Then it says um, in twenty-two, for all His judgments were before me, and I did not put away His statutes from me. So He's saying that all of God's judgments was right there, and He did not put them away at all. You know, because sometimes we know uh, 
what God's word says and we cast it behind us because why? We know what, it's, what it says. And we don't want to pay attention to that because we want to do what we want to do. But David said he didn't do that. Then it says in line 23, I was also blameless before him or with him. And I kept myself from my iniquity. All right. 24. Therefore, the Lord has recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands in his sight. And so it sends us to uh, 1 Samuel 26, 23 uh, for this one. 1 Samuel 26, 23. Where it says, may the Lord repay every man for his righteousness and his faithfulness for the Lord delivered you into my hand today, but I would not stretch out my hand against the Lord's anointed. And David didn't. And David had an opportunity to do that. All right. And so, um, and he, and not only once, but twice he had a chance to take his life, but he chose not to do that. He chose not to too dirty uh his hands all right and that's the same way we must we have to be too if we want to be rewarded by god we have to maintain what our hearts and our hands and make sure they're pure and righteous before the lord all right so i see you in the next stanza